Since leaving the royal family last year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have carved out new lives for themselves in the US. Their American lifestyle has seen them sign huge deals to produce content for Netflix and Spotify. The couple settled in the star-studded area of Montecito, California last year where they moved into a sprawling mansion. Recently, Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, also flew to the East Coast as they embarked on a whistle-stop tour of New York City. The trip was their first major public outing since the birth of their daughter Lilibet in June of this year. This week Meghan also showed her U.S. roots as she wrote to Congress calling for paid leave for parents. Her letter recalled tough moments from her own childhood as well as speaking about her and Harry's parenting of Lilibet, who is their second child after Archie, too. The letter is the latest example of how the Sussexes have continued to campaign on a variety of issues after parting ways with the royal family. In February of this year Buckingham Palace said Meghan and Harry would be stripped of their honorary titles and patronages. This included all of Harry's beloved military appointments, a blow for a prince who is so passionate about the armed forces. The move came after the couple's dramatic announcement that they wished to step back as senior royals last year. Royal commentator Dylan Howard said Harry's grandmother the Queen was left with no choice but to take back his and Meghan's titles. The journalist is the author of Royals at War, the untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Wind. He spoke about the Sussexes losing their titles in the 2021 documentary, Secrets of the Royal, The Markles vs. The monarchy. He said, I think Harry wanted it both ways. He wanted to be able to live a life free of responsibility but still make change. And the reality was, the Sussexes in another country are isolated from everything the royal family means. And that puts the royal family at peril. So, the Queen had no choice but to strip them of the titles. After a 12-month review of Harry and Meghan's positions by the palace, the Queen confirmed in February of this year that the couple would not return as working members of the firm. She also confirmed that the Sussexes would be stripped of their patronages of the various organizations they represent. Harry, who served on the front line in Afghanistan, was forced to relinquish his role as patron of several military organizations. He also had to give up his roles as president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, patron of the Rugby Football Union and the Rugby Football League, and patron of the London Marathon Charitable Trust. Meghan had to give up her patronages of the Royal National Theatre and the Association of Commonwealth Universities, as well as her role as Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Buckingham Palace said the Queen had said, it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. Its statement said the royal family was saddened by Meghan and Harry's decision to leave, adding that the Duke and Duchess remain much-loved members of the family. Buckingham Palace said in January of last year that Harry and Meghan had agreed not to use their HRH, his, her royal highness, titles. The Queen said that after many months of conversations, an agreement had been reached with the Sussexes about their titles and that they would repay £2.4 million of taxpayers' cash for the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage. The monarch added, Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved members of my family.